if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's lifestyle hi my name's Rebecca and I love talking about travel and lifestyle it's free to subscribe it's the red and white subscription button um, also click the notification bell so you never miss the uploads I'm looking to get up to 2,000 subscribers as soon as possible so don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button um, today um, the weather's uh, generally been uh, sunny in the UK um, but um, has still been cold um, now moving on, um, I'm going to be doing a breaking travel news at dot com video where I get uh, the information uh, for the latest travel news worldwide. Ten exciting facts, December two thousand twenty-one, part four. So breaking travel news dot com, you can um, read more about the the stories that I'm telling you about and the facts. So moving on to number one, at uh, Sunak unveils. Uh, 1 billion support for the UK hospitality sector so that's really good news the Chancellor Rishi Sunak has unveiled a 1 billion fund designed to support the UK hospitality uh, sector as the Omicron variant of the COVID-19 disrupts uh, the festival season So again, um, they'll probably be soon in the UK, new rules are going to follow apart from just uh, wearing your um, face masks um, when you go into a shop or supermarket or on public transport. Um, but uh, that might not be until the new year um or it might be before the U uh, new year we'll, we'll just have to keep you updated on that um number two uh travel sector critical of new hospitality funding abita has criticized one billion in emergency funding for uh, the hospitality sector in the uk um, arguing that the polite of the travel industry has been ignored um, which to, uh, to be fair I think it has been and I really hope to get the funding as soon as possible um, number three carnival cruises remains in the red for a quarter the quarter four carnival has reported a net loss of uh, two <laughs> 0.6 billion for the fourth quarter of the financial 2021 as the end of November the the line said at 61% of its pre-COVID-19 at capacity um was um operating um so i really hope it picks up as soon as possible um number four radisson blue signs um british um airways at uh, brand um a bus number five EasyJet off, uh, offer um, holiday flights uh, from as lo uh, uh, from um, di uh, different airports. So number uh, six, Virgin Atlantic returns to St. Lucia. That's really good news. So there is some good news in there. Radisson Blue Hotel at Mount I, it, yes, ex, 
excuse my pronunciation, opens in Turkey. So that's more good news. Yes, at number eight, IHG signs a second hotel Indigo Resort um, in Saudi Arabia. Even more good news. Um, number nine, Qatar Airways launches a 350 court action against Airbus. And uh, number 10, Expo 2020 Titan COVID-19 rules in Dubai. So, uh, there's some good news there, but um, I hope for uh, better as soon as possible in the new year, hopefully. And hopefully, um, my holiday doesn't get cancelled to Scotland in April, fingers crossed. Um, and um, I hope everybody has a good Christmas uh, um, and a good day and all night as possible. I love you all and thank you for watching and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.